Okay, what's going on guys? And today I'm gonna to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to get your generic PC controller or, P or other controller working on Session, the game. So Session's like a new skateboard game that's coming out on PC kind of to uh, be in place of Skate 4 because I don't think EA are bringing out Skate 4. And what I found is that there's kind of some issues with it only accepting Xbox 360 controllers. So today I'm gonna to show you how I fix the problem um, I think I'm the first person to do this because uh, loads of people are having issues and I had to grind and find out how to make it work. So let's get into it. So first off, what you want to do is get onto the session Kickstarter page and oh guys, I'm not gonna like, I'm not plugging anything but it's, you should back the project. Um, at the moment it doesn't say I backed it but I have, I don't know what's going on in this page because I haven't signed in. But yeah, it's a great game. We've got the trailer and everything. I'm not going to play it, it's quite loud, but yeah, so what you want to do, I have the link in the description, you're going to click on this, download the demo button here, and it will take you to a page here, and it will automatically start downloading down here, in a second, so that's your Kickstarter demo, and what you want to do is create another folder in, let's say, one of your drives, so I've made it in my E drive here, called Session Game, and that is where I put in the Kickstarter demo and then right clicked it and did extract here and that's how all these files came here. So that's pretty done for that, that's kind of simple. And then what you want to do next is go to x360e.com, uh, I have the link in the description as well for this and what you want to do is download the 64-bit version because uh, Session is a 64-bit game so you want to download the 64-bit version. Unless you've got a 32-bit uh, processor or operating system, then you can download the 32-bit. Um, what's happening here? Just ignore that, but yeah, it's downloaded here. And what you want to do with this file, you want to take that X360E. What you can do is go to your downloads here, so downloads, and drag it into your session game file. But what you want to do before you do that, you want to go into session game, you want to go into binaries, Win64, and this folder, you won't see these X360 files. I just put them there uh, because I've got it in the game, but you'll see this thing here, Session Game Win64 Shipping, and this is the main EXE file, because I think the main problem was that people were putting it in the other one, which was at the start, which was this one, and it wasn't working. So you want to put it in Session Game, Binaries, Win64, and then drag that whole zip file into here, right click it and click extract here. So what you want to do after that is you'll right click X360E, run as administrator, click yes. And mine doesn't show it here, but what you want to do, it will come up with a screen saying create. So this would be after you've extracted that into the other file. what you find is this will come up so you want to click create and then afterwards it will come up with another window and say search automatically for settings search on the internet you want to click next and then what you have is this thing called session game here you guys want to click finish but I'm not going to press that because I've already got it set up so you want to press finish okay after you come on this page uh, your controller will probably have a red icon and what you want to click on is auto and that will automatically fill, fill in all of the controller settings like that so that's done all the controller settings and if I grab my controller up now I'm moving the left analog stick and I'm doing oh, it's kind of controlling the d-pad you see that's going like that and the other analog stick there and that's all perfect and if you see the green light then you're basically ready to go and your game should work so let me try and load into let me try and load into the game now. So let me go into here. And I've made a shortcut as well, but this is the application. So you double click that. Unreal Engine. And see. It should be one of those tapers coming here because I think that's bounded too much. And it's working. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you've got any other questions, uh, then just leave them in the comments below. But yeah, it's such a sick game. Make sure you pledge to them. This is going to be awesome. Thanks for watching, guys.